Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are a regular here, you will know I have been going around a lot of charity shops in loads of different towns and trying to find all the books that I want to read on my TBR. I'm afraid to say that my book buying habit has now escalated uh, and I have bought some new books and some special edition books which I'm going to show you in this haul. It's time to share that I am now very poor because I have bought too many books. <laughs> These books have been bought over the last four months again, uh, picked up at different times and I'm just gonna show you what I picked up. So having read the A Court of Thorns and Roses series and absolutely loving it, I decided to treat myself to the box set of the hardback editions. Uh, so <laughs> I picked this up, uh, it was reduced to, I think it was about, I think I paid £50 for this so I was very happy with the price for that and it has all the hardbacks that have been released so far haven't opened it yet but I definitely want to reread these books at some point so I wanted to have a lovely hardback copies of these so I picked that up because I enjoyed that series so much I decided to pick up some more Sarah J Maas books <laughs> the next best thing <laughs> I picked up the Front of Glass series in hardback uh this is the full set treated myself to this i haven't read these yet <sighs> they're heavy <laughs> uh but yes i am very very excited to read these i think i'm kind of putting it off because i know that once i start i'm probably not going to be able to stop and i have so many books that i need to read <laughs> um but yes i am definitely saving this for a rainy day and i really really hope it's good I've heard good things. Hopefully it's going to be amazing and I can't wait to read these. Recently Waterstones released another edition of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I couldn't resist this. I've heard really good things about this and it was on my TBR and they did this lovely edition with the sprayed edges with the flowers down the side and also oh my gosh the inside and um, it has foiling flowers on the front but the artwork on the inside look at the end page i can't even how beautiful is that there's various like fan art in the book and i just thought this was such a lovely addition with the artwork and just overall just a really nice addition uh, I'm hoping I'm going to love this I do like a good romance uh, and I really liked the plot of this so it says France 1714 a desperate woman makes a desperate deal in the dark a bargain to live forever but be remembered by none this is about a woman who makes a deal with the devil um, and basically she becomes invisible to everyone and there is a romance in this book and I cannot wait to read it. Next up this was a new release at the time I got the Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I have read the Caraval trilogy after buying this. I haven't read this one yet and um, just because I know it's going to be another trilogy and I don't want to put myself through any cliffhangers so I think I might save this with the other books to be released before I read it but I really enjoyed Caraval and one of the characters that I really like I believe is in this book so I can't wait to read this. This is just the standard edition but it's a first edition so it comes with the hidden foil cover which is beautiful. I have more than one copy so I have the arrow and I have the potion bottle. That is like the most beautiful standard edition I've ever seen. So yes very very happy with this. So again this is fantasy, it's romance, it's perfect. <laughs> I haven't read it but I, I've, I've got a feeling in my bones. So because I want more Sarah J Maas, uh, I pre-ordered the second in the Crescent City series. I can't remember what it's called, but it's got like the blue cover. I just think the artwork on these books are stunning. Uh, so I hunted down a hardback copy of House of Earth and Blood. Just look at the artwork. The artwork is so beautiful. So yes, I'm very excited about this one. I think I'm going to do Throne of Glass before I do this one. Uh, I think this is the more adult of the two. 
Um, but yeah, I wanted to get this copy with the artwork because I just think it's gorgeous. And I've pre-ordered the second one, so I can't wait to get that. We recently watched, is it Shang-Chi and the Five Rings? And we love Mulan as well. We've just been on like, I want more Chinese culture and stuff in my like films and books. So I picked up a copy of Six Crimson Cranes and the cover of this. This is just a beautiful book. The colours, the foiling, it is beautiful. Uh, but this I managed to get a signed edition from Forbidden Planet. It's got the signed book plate in. And it says, a princess in exile, a shape-shifting dragon, six enchanted cranes and an unspeakable curse. It will take more than magic to find their way home. Very excited to read this. So again, for similar reasons, uh, I picked up the Bullenshard Daughter. The Bullenshard Emperor recently came out and I've heard good things about this book and so I hunted down a hardback copy of the Bullenshard Daughter. This was very hard to find uh, and expensive but I got it, I managed to find a copy and I'm very happy with it. And of course I also picked up the Bullenshard Emperor which is the second book in the series. I believe this is going to be a trilogy so I'm really excited to read these. I, again I'm going to wait until I have them all uh, but very very excited. So again following similar themes um, I think this is actually more of a sci-fi series um, it might be sci-fi fantasy but the Broken Binding did a special edition set of these books and it is The Grace of Kings, The Wall of Storms and The Veiled Throne by Ken Liu. These are the most beautiful spread edges I've seen in my life. I couldn't resist this. Look at that! <laughs> so I picked these up. They're expensive but they are so beautiful. I've never seen anything like this before. They're gorgeous. Uh, unfortunately, I thought this was a completed trilogy when I ordered this. It isn't. There's actually a fourth book coming out in that series. They said they are doing the same matching um, edition in the fourth book. So I now need to make sure I get my hands on that. But also, I now don't want to start the series because I want all the books. I'm not going to start that. I mean, I, actually, I probably could afford to start the series. They're quite chunky books. I was so annoyed when I found out it wasn't a trilogy. I was, I don't know how I missed it. I missed it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I'm going to be able to get book number four and complete that series. Next up, I could not resist buying a copy of Empire of the Vampire. I've heard so much fuss about this book. So many people raving about this book. And I've always been a vampire person. I like True Blood, the Vampire Diaries, like the TV shows. I didn't read the books. Uh, I do have the Vampire Diaries books. I did have the True Blood books, but I got rid of them. Uh, but I have the Vampire Diaries books and I do want to read them. But I think they changed the author part way through. It's like ghost written after a certain point and apparently after it's ghost written, it's, it's not that good. But yeah, I'm still interested in trying to read those because the Vampire Diaries is one of my favorite series. Uh, also the originals which was a spin-off from that. I love both of those shows so much. In fact, I love them so much <laughs> that I didn't watch the last season of The Vampire Diaries because I didn't want it to have a rubbish ending. I was so scared that the ending was going to be terrible that I didn't watch it for like 10 years. Yeah. Uh, and then I eventually watched it and it had a perfect ending and I wish I'd watched it. I wish I'd watched it sooner. It was one of those things where I was so scared that it was not going to live up to my expectations and it was perfect. Um, same with the originals. The ending of the originals is, it's just, oh, can't. I really want to watch both of those again. But yeah, so I decided to pick up Empire of the Vampire. Um, since then, they did put the signed editions back on Waterstones. I don't know if it comes with like the black spread edges but I've ordered a signed edition if that arrives I'll probably sell this one on next up I haven't taken it out of packaging because I don't <laughs> uh, we picked up the Lord of the Rings and um, they came out with this beautiful 
edition with the script on the edges and it has I think it has full colour original illustrations by the author in this and yeah we just really wanted a very nice copy of this because Andy's obsessed with Lord of the Rings. Uh, we're currently listening to the audiobook. It's a version that I can't remember what he's listening to it on or where he found it but it's a version where this guy does like all the voices very similar to the films and it has like the music and stuff and um, so we're kind of like listening to that before bed every night and it's very enjoyable. <laughs> Um, but yeah, picked up this copy and it is beautiful and I didn't unwrap it. <laughs> I'm in a few Facebook groups and someone was selling off a couple of books that I wanted. Um, so I managed to get Dark Matter by Blake Crouch in paperback and I also got Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. I think this is Vikings. It's in a very good condition. The only problem I have with these two books, they are from a smoking home. And for that reason, I have not put them near anything else. And unfortunately, I think I'm gonna read them and then get rid of them because you can't get, I don't think you can get cigarette smells out. And I'm not a smoker, so. <sighs> They, they really smell. It's so unfortunate and I should have checked. I did ask is there anything I need to know, any damage or anything and they didn't say mention it which they probably should have. So these will probably be going but I did order these and before they arrived because I had ordered the first one, The Sky in the Deep, which is a duology, I also went online and ordered The Girl the Sea Gave Back which is I believe the follow-up to Sky in the Deep. I recently picked up some stuff in the Black Friday sales. So Illumicrate had some stuff on sale uh, and I picked up the debut box for Jade Fire Gold. I really like the orange and red cover. I know some people really liked the Fairy Loot edition, which I think had like, was it pink and green or something? I can't remember. Um, but I really like the original cover for this. This one comes with the signed book plate and author letter which is a very nice art print as well and um, so yeah with my current obsession picked this up as well and I'm really excited about this one uh, this one says in an empire on the brink of war Anne is no one with no past and no family Alton is a lost heir his future stolen away as a child when they meet Alton sees in Anne a path to reclaiming the throne Anne sees a way to finally unlock her past and understand her lethal magical abilities that they may have to pay a far deadlier price than Eva could have imagined. Uh, so again, I'm pretty sure this is a fantasy romance. Really looking forward to reading this. And unfortunately, as with a lot of the books that were delivered in colder weather, um, the pages have gone a bit wavy, which is very annoying, but there's nothing I can do about it. Also in the Illumicrate sale, I picked up This Is How You Lose the Time War. I think, this is just two copies of the same book because it has the title on both books. I'm pretty sure this is a book that's like written through letters um, between two warring factions that can time travel. Memory is very hazy here. Um, but yeah, I think it's a romance. I think there is some romance, um, but it's written through letters as far as I'm aware. Um, and I just thought this would be a nice one for me and Andy to read together because I believe there's two copies of that in there. So yeah, I picked that up. And also from Illumicrate, I picked up Raybearer and Redemptor. Uh, so this is a duology. I think it's African inspired. I think it is, I can't remember. Um, only one thing is more powerful than a wish and that is a purpose. Tarazé has always longed for the warmth of a family. She was raised in isolation by her mysterious cunning and often absent mother. Known only as the Lady, when Tarasai comes of age, the Lady sends her to the capital of the global empire of Aritzar to be chosen as one of the Crown Prince's Council of Eleven. If she's picked, she'll be joined with the other council members through the Ray, a bond deeper than blood. But the Lady has other ideas, including a magical wish that Tarasai is compelled to obey. Kill the Crown Prince once she gains his trust. I got these lovely additions. They have the 
frayed edges and filing on the hardback. I just think they're really nice. These look like really nice small books as well. Like I think these are going to be a very easy read. Uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to those. Next up, I picked up some more Black Friday sale items. These came from Owlcrate. So this is an American based company and I got another copy of Once Upon a Broken Heart. This is a signed copy. Uh, I haven't opened this yet, so I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it has foiling on the cover. I think this is the one with pink foiling on a white cover. Um, but yeah, I wanted a signed edition, so I got another copy of that. I do really like the standard edition though. I probably won't keep both of these. I'm just, I don't know yet. We'll see how I feel. I also picked up a copy of Vespertine by Margaret Rogerson. This is a standalone. I find it quite difficult to find standalones these days. Like everything seems to be series, if I can remember rightly. I believe she's a priestess or a nun, something along those lines, uh, with magical abilities. And I can't remember much more than that. I'm really looking forward to reading this and A Sorcery of Fawns, which I have a copy of. Uh, so I'm excited to try those. And the last one I picked up from Owlcrate was this beautiful foiled naked hardback edition of When Night Breaks by Janella Angelis. Um, so the first, this is the second book, it's a duology, and the other one is Where Dreams Descend. So I need to get a copy of that, but I don't think I'll be able to find the Owl Crate edition anywhere. It would be lovely to find the Owl Crate edition. I just think this edition is absolutely beautiful. Again, I don't know much about this. I've seen people talk about it and I couldn't resist this beautiful edition. So hopefully I can pick up a copy of the first book and I'll be able to read this duology. Next up, I saw someone talking about this book and I really wanted to read it. It is by Frederick Backman and it is called And Every Morning The Way Home Gets Longer and Longer. It's a novella, it's short, it's only about 75 pages long and the person that had read this book was, was very... <laughs> they cried a lot. They made me want to read it. I really want to read this book. I couldn't find a copy of it anywhere and I was very desperate. It's very short and it'll be a nice little read. So I bought a hardback version of this online. It is a tiny, tiny book. I had Anxious People by Frederick Backman um, on hold at the library and I just got access to the e-reader version of that. So I'm currently reading Anxious People. I'm about 30% into it and I'm really enjoying it and I've already cried about three times. <laughs> so I can see this, this author seems very good at like making things very relatable and just like ripping your heart out basically. So I'm excited to read this and I'm excited to read the rest of Anxious People. Finally, I picked up the Naked Hardback Editions by Illumicrate of the Jade City trilogy. So we have Jade City and it is this beautiful foiled Naked Hardback edition uh, and it has these sprayed edges down the side and it says on my honour on the back of this one. And then we have Jade Legacy, which is in the blue. And again, it has guns on the sprayed edges and it says on my Jade. And finally, the newest release, uh, we have Jade War. Again, with the foiled edge and it says on my life on the back. And I just thought these editions were so stunning. So yes, I have got the trilogy of Jade City. This is, I believe this is a dystopian fantasy uh, with magical abilities that are based on Jade. So those are the spines together. I've heard it's like mafia style, um, which I'm not sure. I haven't read any mafia style books yet. So I'm interested to see how I find these, but I am really excited to read them. I'm just, I'm just kind of scared. I don't want to damage them. So that's it guys, I'm pretty sure that is all of the brand new and special edition books that I have bought over the last four months. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time. <laughs>